Hello everyone, hope you're well. Uh, so this is your 40 minute beginner class for this week. Um, we're working on our hamstrings today. So back of our legs, butt to our heel, hamstring muscles. Well, I mean, not all the way down to our heel, but our back of our legs basically. So we're gonna be working on strengthening and stretching, trying to find a balance between the two. Okay, so let's start. We're gonna start with some slow roll downs today. So just standing nice and tall, uh, take your feet underneath your hips, and then just from the top of your head, start to drop your chin towards your chest, and then very gently start to roll down one vertebrae at a time. So one bit of your spine at a time, and just to hang over your legs. So as you reach the bottom, you might find you want to stretch your knees slightly and that is fine. I want you to take your elbows and just let your body hang nice and heavy. So you're gonna to start to feel the back of your legs, get a slight little stretch. Make sure you're not back here. You wanna be right over your legs, hips directly over your feet and just let your body hang nice and heavy here. So take one more deep breath there. And then release your hands and then very gently, slowly roll all the way back up to stand. As you reach the top, just circle your shoulders back. And then we go down again, drop the chin to the chest, relax the body all the way down. Relaxing the head and chest down and then just take the elbows. This time just adding a little shift from side to side. So you kind of just sway left to right, just feeling the back of your legs get a bit of a deeper stretch. Good, release the hands, roll yourself back up. All the way up to the top, last time circle those shoulders and drop your chin to the chest, rolling down. Let your body hang nice and heavy. And then from this position, this time we're going to just bend our knees and come down to our little squat position. So in your squat position, just shift your knees side to side, relax the back of the hamstrings, just taking a like a little sort of mobilization. This kind of gives the hamstrings like a gentle little massage almost. Good, couple more deep breaths like that. And then just sink your bottom down and just roll yourself down onto your back. Give your knees a nice tight squeeze in towards your body. So just hug your legs, knees in nice and tight. Just cross the ankles, taking a little rock left to right. And then taking a deep breath and I want you to stretch your legs up towards the ceiling. Stretch the knees as much as you can. So you might find this really tricky. Trying to think of the back of the knee stretching. Reach the arms up, cross the feet and then taking your other leg on top for that nice squeeze in towards the body. Good, take one more deep breath. As you exhale, bring your feet down to the mat. And then take your right leg up towards the ceiling, just flexing your right foot. Take your hand up to the inside of your right foot and then just come into half your happy baby on the right side. So you're pulling the top of the quad on your right side down towards the floor, compressing through that hip. Take your other hand to your opposite hip and just make sure you're not tilting over to the side. So you're just staying nice and square there. Good, from that position, just take your right ankle across your left knee and just start to gently open your right knee out to the side and just hold it there with your hand just to get a little bit of opening into your right hip. Take a gentle rock side to side. And then release that leg down to the floor and we will switch sides. Bring your left leg up to the ceiling, bend your knee. Take your left hand on the inside of your left foot and then open the top of that quad down to the mat. Take your right hand to your right hip to keep it nice and square. Just 
opening through your left side, top of the thigh compressing down. And then take your ankle across your right knee, take your left hand and just very gently open it out to the side. Just taking that little gentle rock. Good, and then bring your foot down to the floor. Bring your feet a little bit closer towards your bottom now. Make sure you can just touch the back of your heels. And then we're going to do a few bridges here. So this is a really good exercise. It is a good exercise for your back, but also people forget you do really use your hamstrings in this exercise. So make sure you can just touch the back of your heels. Start to scoop through your lower pelvic area, tuck your hips towards your ribs and then start to bring your bottom off the mat, pushing up into your bridge. And then tuck and roll all the way back down. Good, taking your time with this movement. So you wanna feel the bottom part of your spine start to slowly unpeel off the floor. As you roll all the way up, you push the hips up at the top, squeeze through your core and then you roll back down. Good. Now we're going to hold the next one up. So squeeze and lift it up at the top. Good. Start to flex through your feet. So you just lift your he uh, toes off the floor and then bring them down and then lift your heels off the floor and down. See if you can lift your toes off the floor and down and heels off the floor and down good toes off the floor inhale exhale heels good two more times inhale toes exhale heels good last time inhale toes exhale heels push a little higher and then roll yourself all the way back down draw the knees in towards the chest give them a nice tight squeeze Good, very nice. Just roll yourself over to the side and then just making your way onto your four point posture. So we do this one a lot in uh, every level of yoga, beginner right up to advanced, just finding your four point posture, shoulders directly over your wrists, hips directly over your knees. And then from this position, take your left knee to the center of the mat and just take your right leg up behind you, flex your right foot. And then we're just doing some tiny little pulses. So you're gonna feel the back of your hamstring start to engage, that big muscle that we're working today, back of the leg, but just doing tiny little lifts of that movement. So think of pressing your right foot up towards the roof. Good, for four, three, two, one. Now point through your foot. See if you can squeeze your heel towards your bottom. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And then exhale, bring your knee down, send your bottom back and take a quick stretch in your child's pose. Relax your head and chest down there. Breathe, breathe, breathe. And then inhale to shift yourself back forward. Now bring your right knee to the center of the mat and then send your left leg up behind you. Flex your left toes and tiny little pulses. So you're gonna feel your hamstring on the second side. Little lift. Keep that steady breath there. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, now point the foot, squeeze your heel towards your bottom. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And exhale, bring the knee down. Very nice, guys. We're gonna tuck our toes and go straight to our downward facing dog. So take a deep breath in, pressing into your hands, little bend through those elbows, and then push yourself back to find your downward facing dog. Now remember, it can be in a bent knee position if you find it really hard for your hamstring. Otherwise, we're trying to straighten out through our legs. Keep our back nice and straight and our arms nice and straight. We want to keep our chest going through our arms towards our thighs. Take two more deep breaths, just holding that downward facing dog. 
Good. And then on your next inhale, bend your knees as much as you need to, and then step your right foot forward. Bring your left foot in a bit. So both feet are facing forward. We're going to come into a forward fold. Now, this is a strong hamstring stretch. So you might find you're with bent knees and your body is up here. That's fine. We're working towards a straight leg position. We breathe as we straighten our back and then exhale, we coil down, bring our head down towards our front knee and we breathe and we hold this stretch for a few deep breaths. Now, the most important thing here is to try and relax the body. Feel the length from your heels right up to the top part of your hamstring, which connects to your lower back. Breathe and hold. Then take one more deep breath. Bend your knees as much as you need and then bring your front hand next to your front foot and just see if you can take your other hand to your back leg. So you might find that really tricky. The lower down at the heart of the stretch. So take it down towards the calf if you can. Remember, you can do this all with bent knees and stretching on every exhale. Release that hand. Now we're gonna walk our body forward, bring the weight off our back foot. You can bend your front knee if you need, keep your head down. We're gonna move into our flamenco pose. So try and squeeze your left heel towards your bottom with your body down. See if you can take one hand to the back of your ankle. Bend your knee as much as you need. One more deep breath. And then exhale, start to bend down through your right foot. You're gonna take your left foot behind you and sit down into a little seated twist position. So our right foot is across our left foot, just sitting nice and tall. Just taking your basket grip around your front knee and then start to twist yourself, your right side across your front leg. So you're twisting your left arm across your right knee Start to twist towards the side. Good, one more deep breath. And then as you exhale, release your hands wherever you are. Walk your hands away from your front leg. Send your bottom up and then you should find yourself in a, another little forward fold. So you might need to just walk your feet apart. And if you have maneuvered your way around the mat, I'm trying to stay so you can see the positions, but just make your way to the back of your mat now. And we're gonna come into the other side. So just take the back of your leg. So we're stretching our hamstrings here. You can bend the knees as much as you need. One more deep breath. And then from this position, just walk yourself out to your downward facing dog. Maybe getting a little bit deeper this time. Straight through that back. Bend your knees as much as you need and then you're going to step your left leg through this time. We're going to come into our forward triangle posture, second side. So we take a deep breath and you lengthen the spine and then we coil down with our body, head and chest comes down. We're going to try to keep both legs nice and straight, let the body hang over the front leg. Then breathe and hold. We take deep breaths in our postures to relax the muscles. And then take your front hand next to your front foot. So you've got that right next to the foot, that's it. And then if you can, see if you can take your left hand back to your right leg. Remember the lower down, the harder. Keep the stretch there. Breathe. And then release your hand, keeping your body low, just drift your weight forward. Remember you can bend the knees as much as you want, send the weight out of the back foot. We're gonna come into our flamenco second side. We try to squeeze our right heel towards our bottom, maybe taking our left hand behind our ankle. We squeeze and hold, we squeeze and hold. And then we bend through our front knee as we take our right foot down behind our left foot and we sit down into our little cross seated stretch, second side. So we just start by taking our hands onto our knees, lengthening our spine, getting that nice transverse stretch. And then we start to twist our right shoulder, our right side this time, we'll press our left knee, twisting to the side. 
just breathing in that position, find space to move the torso. Good, and then exhale, release. Good, this time just bring your feet out in front of you and then we're going to just roll ourselves down onto the floor. So take your hands to the back of your thighs with control, one vertebrae at a time, roll yourself down and then just release your back down to the floor. Good, take your hands into a basket grip and draw your right knee in towards your chest. So just giving your right knee a really tight squeeze. Just start to circle around that knee, just giving your hip area a little bit of a warm up. And then round the other way. Good, now keeping your left knee bent and left foot into the mat. Stretch your right leg up to the ceiling. Flex through your right foot and then take a deep breath in, bring your hands up to the roof. So like you're holding onto like a tissue box or something, I want you to really think about engaging your arm muscles here. Point those fingers directly up to the roof. We're gonna keep the leg parallel today with a lovely straight knee, we're gonna lower it down to the floor, tap the mat and then exhale, we lift halfway up. Inhale, flex to lower. Exhale, lift two. Inhale. Exhale, lift three. Inhale, parallel position. Exhale, lift four. Straight as you can through that knee. Good. Five. And six. Good. Now we're going to hold it down at the bottom. We're going to bring our hands down to the mat and we just do little pulses. Start to turn your leg out now. So you're going to turn your toes out to the side and think about just lifting that foot up towards the ceiling. Relax your bottom and we breathe. Inhaling. Exhaling. Good. Deep breath in. Exhale. One more breath. Inhale. Exhale, nice. Turn your leg back parallel, toes facing the roof. Lift it up halfway, so knee to knee and lower. Inhale, two. Exhale. Inhale, three. Exhale. Inhale, four. Exhale. Inhale, five. Doing so well, guys. This is hard. Six. Hold it here, hold it here. See if you can stretch your other leg long. We breathe and hold for three, for two, for one, and then hug your knees in. Good work, guys. Well done. That's a hard set of exercises. Just breathe, hug those knees into the chest. We're going to go straight to the other side, and then we're going to stretch out at the end. So we've been working those muscles, but we'll do a stretch at the end. So don't worry. Bring your right foot down to the mat now. Take your basket grip over your left knee and then just start to circle that left knee around. Just finding movement in the hips. Warming up that hip joint and then round the other way. Good, taking one more deep breath. And then send that leg directly up to the ceiling. We take those arms up, holding onto that imaginary box. So we've got energy in our hands. Flex through our left toes. Inhale, we lower it down. We tap the mat with the calf. Keep the knee as straight as possible. And exhale, we lift. Inhale, lower two. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower three. Keep that core engaged. Lift. Inhale, lower four. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Now we're going to lower it down to the floor. Give it the toes out to the side. So turning out the leg, bring the arms down, and we just do those little tiny lifts. We're keeping the knee super straight. Inside of the foot is coming up towards the ceiling. Trying to relax through your glutes. So you're using just your leg muscles and trying not to use our bottom too much here. It will engage a little bit, but just trying to keep it mainly on our focus on our legs here. 
good for three, two, one. Good, now we're gonna turn it back, turn it back, parallel, bring it up halfway, and down, and inhale. Exhale, knee to knee, three, and exhale, good, four, exhale, and five, exhale, and six. We hold, see this time if you can reach the arms up above the head, extend your other leg out, point through your toes, and then draw your legs up this time, take the back of your legs, and just let you pull them down towards your face. So you're gonna pull your bottom slightly off the floor here. You might need to bend your knees. This is a really nice sort of stretch for the hamstring. You might find this really difficult. You might be right up here and that is absolutely fine. We wanna just peel our lower back off the floor. Keep your face facing the ceiling. Don't turn your head from side to side here. You don't wanna hurt our neck. Good. Taking one more deep breath. And then gently coming up, bend your knees and bring them back down to the mat. Arms out, drop your knees just side to side. Very nice work, guys. Let's take a quick stretch of our hamstrings now. So we're going to roll ourselves over, yeah? And we're just gonna make our way into our lunge pose. Taking a nice stretch into our hips. So bring your right leg forward, bring your pelvis forward and hands down to frame the front foot. Now, if you wanna make this harder, you can tuck the back toes and give your back knee a nice straight supported back leg, or stay down here with me for the easier version. Just make sure that this front hip is forward and not opening out to the side. So if that means you're back here, that's fine. Just keep that hip forward and melt down. Good, we take one more deep breath. Now we're going to push our pelvis back. We're going to walk our front foot forward, flex our front toes so we're stretching through the back of our right hamstring. Take a deep breath in and then exhale, lower the head and chest down, just as far down as you can. Breathe and hold. Good, as we take a deep breath and we're going to come back forward, bend our front knee. Everybody tuck your back toe now and then just pivot your back foot open, walk your foot in towards your front foot. So it's a little bit more narrow start. Stretch through your front leg. We're gonna to transition to our trikonasana, which is a strong hamstring activator, to be honest. Right hand on the right shin, bend your knees if you need, and then lift your left arm up. So find our triangle trikonasana on our right side. So we've got to think like we're between two planes of glass here, one in front of us, one behind us. We pull up through our legs, we squeeze through our core, and we reach that top arm up. Good, very nice, good. One more deep breath. As we exhale, we're gonna bring our front hand down. Pivot your front toes forward and then bring your body forward for a quick forward fold. Bend your knees if you need to. This is a very strong hamstring stretch, so just take it gently. Take your hands to the back of your ankles if you can, bending your knees as much as you need and just bring your torso down. Good, one more deep breath. And then we're going to just navigate our way to the second side. So you're gonna pivot your left toes out. Take your left hand to your left shin, using your core, straightening through your legs as much as you can, tricking us in a second side. So our triangle pose, second side, you feel the back of your legs working to help stabilize this position. So you're getting equal stretch and strengthen. Pull up through the kneecaps, protect your knees. Good, one more deep breath. Then extend that top arm over. We're gonna bend through our front knee, pivot our back foot back, and then twist ourselves around to drop our back knee to the mat, finding our lunge second side. Now remember our front hip is forward, keeping our pelvis square. If you wanna make it harder, you're tucking the back toes and straightening through that back knee. Relaxing down, pushing down, weight into the front leg, good. 
And then gently send your pelvis back as you walk your front foot forward, flex those toes back towards you. Take a deep breath in and then exhale, coil the head and chest down over that front leg. Stretching from your heel to the back of your pelvis and breathe. Good, one more deep breath there. Keep relaxing through the chest. And then gently roll yourself up and just maneuver yourself onto your knees, down onto your bottom. Good. And then just bring your legs out in front of you. So they're front of, in front of you, um, to about your mat distance apart. So I'm just gonna shuffle back a bit, but about the width of your mat apart there. I might face this way, it might be a bit easier actually. Yeah, that's better. So in this position, I want you to sit nice and tall like you're sitting against a wall. So sitting nice and tall, take your left hand to the mat, reach your right arm up, and then stretch your right arm across your left foot. Now, if you're really struggling with this, you can stay here and just hold this stretch. If you wanna take it a bit further, you're gonna take your right hand on the outside of your left foot, and then start to reach your left leg off the mat, lengthening through the back of your spine, flexing through your, your left toes, and you take it across your body. So you're getting a stretch through the side of your leg, but also the hamstring. Keep nice and tall. Good, and then using your core, bring your other hand off the floor, take it to the back of your ankle. Take both hands to the back of your ankle. Now you can bend your knee here and start to pull the thigh in. If you can keep it straight, start to pull that leg up towards you. Keeping a nice straight spine, everyone. Good, now just releasing it down, let go of the leg, bring your hands down. If you are down in that stretch, try to come up and do this next exercise. It's a good hamstring one. We inhale lower, exhale lift one, inhale. Exhale, two. Inhale, exhale, three. And bring it down. Good. Reach the arms up. And then just take a forward fold. So just bring your hands down. You might be right up here. If you can bring your body down, bring your body down. Head should be down between the knees and relax. Good. Gently, slowly roll yourself up through your spine. We'll come into our second side. So sitting nice and tall, bring now your left arm across your right ankle, and then just taking that little stretch, maybe just staying there, or taking the outside of that leg, pressing down into your right hand and start to pull that leg up and then pull it across towards your left side. So stretching the side of our peroneals down into our hip and then also our hamstring. Breathe and hold it there. Nice, and then taking your right hand to the outside of your right ankle, take your left hand to the back of your ankle as well, and just start to pull up into your hamstring, just to where you can remember, you can bend your knee here. Breathe and hold for three, two, and one. If you were down, try to come up now and do this next three sets of lowers with me. Inhale, one, exhale, lift, inhale, two, Exhale, lift, inhale, three, exhale, lift, and lower. Very nice, guys. Just give those legs a little shake out. Very, very good. Lovely work. Okay, let's roll ourselves back down to the floor. We're going to take this from a nice tall spine. So take your hands to the back of your knees and just lengthen that spine up and then roll down through your back. Good. Just relax your bottom and we'll come into recline butterfly. So bring your feet together, knees out to the side, sort the baddha konasana, relax the glutes and just take a few deep breaths, just open those inner thighs, relaxing in the hips and just take a gentle little bounce there. Whatever feels nice. Breathe and hold. Good, two more deep breaths. Nice, now we're gonna do a tiny quick core exercise before we finish with our stretches, just to keep our, our cores improving in our beginner's class. 
So bring your legs into a 90 degree angle. Yeah, bring your hands to the back of your neck. And we're gonna do some toe drop, drops. So as we take a deep breath and we drop our left toe to the bottom of the mat and exhale, lift. Inhale, right. Exhale, lift. Inhale, both. Exhale, lift. Now we do the same thing, we open the knees. Inhale, right. Exhale, lift. Inhale, left. Exhale, lift. Lower both down in that frog position. Come back up, turn the legs parallel. Now, if you want to make it harder, come up into a crunch position. If you want to make it easier, stay down and don't drop those feet all the way down. We've got two more sets picking your level. Inhale, one, exhale, lift. Inhale, two, exhale, lift. Inhale, both, exhale, lift and out. And one, and a lift, and two, and a lift, lower and a lift. Good, now for the last little bit, I want you to open those legs, whatever level you are, drop them down. And we just do some tiny little lifts for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, feel those abs, four, three, two, one, and draw the knees in. Well done, guys, take a deep breath there. Very good work. Rocking side to side. Bring now your left leg down to the mat and then we're gonna take a hamstring stretch on our right leg. So first take your arm across your knee, take hold of your wrist and pull that thigh really strongly down towards the chest. So we compress through the hip before we stretch. Take a strong compressed pull. Now you're going to take your left hand to your right foot and I want you to just stretch up to where you can. Now if that is here with a bent knee, that is fine. Every exhale and inhale, we straighten a little bit further. If you can come down a bit further, come down a bit further. Wherever you are, close your eyes and breathe. Now remember, you might be right up here with a bent knee and breathing and that is fine. We're gonna hold it for a few more deep breaths. Inhale and exhale, inhale and exhale, last breath, and then try to release the foot, point through the leg, and then lengthen that leg all the way down to the floor with control, bend the knee in, drop the knee side to side. Nice guys, let's do our second side. So we scoot that left knee in, we take the left arm across, we take the wrist and we compress through that thigh, pull it right in tight. Take your opposite hand to the foot, flex through the foot, and then we draw back into the hamstring. Remember, you might be right up here, wherever you are, you're just breathing, lengthening. Make sure your bottom stays on the floor. Good, take one more deep breath. Oh, sorry, two more deep breaths. And then start to point through the foot as you release the foot with control all the way down. Nice, and then take your other leg out nice and long, give your legs a shake. We're gonna do a roll up. So this is quite difficult for the abs. We're gonna do a roll up for our final hamstring stretch. If you find this difficult, bend your knees and just walk yourself up like this. Otherwise, keep your legs straight, slightly apart. Reach your arms up above the head, take a deep breath in. And then on your exhale, sit up nice and tall, find a nice length of the spine, flex through your feet, and then just bring your body forward for your final hamstring stretch. So reaching forward, head down. We're gonna hold for one more deep breath. And then roll yourself up. And then I want you to slowly, slowly, slowly make your way all the way down to the mat. And we're gonna take just a few minutes in your Shavasana to finish. Very good job, guys. So just finding a nice Shavasana. You can have your legs uh, 
lengthened out long on the mat or you can bend them in whatever's more comfortable for your body and just for the next few minutes we're just going to try and completely relax And just a little bit of music. Minutes. And then when you're ready, just rolling over to your right side and just take a few deep breaths on your right side. And then when you're ready, spot your legs, see if you can finish. Go crossing your legs, crossing on your knees, hands into your heart center. Take out three breaths to close the club. hamstrings are feeling equally strengthened and stretched and yeah see you next time have a lovely day have a lovely evening um and yeah thank you so much for joining see you next time well done <laughs>